All right, so I got a Scotty Vest Enforcer jacket, and I was really happy with the functionality of it, but I was a little bit disappointed in the fit, um, primarily because, you know, it's intended to conceal weapons or, uh, you know, just hold a lot of stuff, so it's pretty baggy to begin with. But here at the bottom of the waistline, they had an open waist, and it just fit like a tent. It was about six inches too big in diameter and circumference for me, so it just made me look really, like, fat and not not that great. And I was kind of embarrassed to wear it, to be honest. You know, I loved how it worked, but didn't like how it fit. And when I bought it, it did not have these drawstrings on it. It comes straight. So I just did a quick modification, and it was super simple to do. Basically, I came around to the zippers, and I would unstitch... I'm coming to the light side. Unstitched the little stitching in here right next to where the zipper is. Let me undo this toggle real quick and show. So I'd undo the stitching in there and then basically I started at one end, I started at this end and jammed the bungee cord. This is eighth inch bungee cord that you can get at, at Hobby Lobby and jammed it through there, ran it all the way up to the end and I kind of did a little candy cane thing, just shoved it in there and kind of worked it around with my fingers till it made a candy cane right out here at the end. So I have the tip end of the bungee cord coming back here and then hooks around. And you can see I did just a little, a little anchor stitch there to hold it in place. I probably wrapped around five times or so, went through the bungee cord once to kind of lock it in there and it's holding tight. And then from there, I did the same thing, unstitched this side of the zipper and ran the bungee cord all the way around through. And this bungee cord's so stiff, it just goes right through. You don't have to have any kind of safety pin or anything to help pull it along. Oops, my focus here. And uh, popped it out here. Probably the hardest part was getting it to pop out on this end, and that's just because I didn't have a, a way to fuse the the end of the bungee cord, so it was all kind of fraying. And But I ended up getting it poked through, pulled it around, and jammed it back through here. And did the same thing, you know, did another little candy cane and stitched it in right there. And I did make the, so after I had stitched it in on this side, I, I, I just basically laid out the bungee cord so it would come all the way around. And I added on another maybe four inches or so, so that I could have some extra length at the end so I could tie knots and put these toggles on. And it doesn't really matter when you put the toggles on, you can jam them through there. I ended up having to put a little thread, like loop some thread around the bungee, run it all through the toggle, and then pull on the bungee to get it to go through the toggle. So now I'm going to show you how the, how the uh, fit differs from not having the, the cord in there to having it in there. All right, so here is the vest. Here's the vest without having the toggles pulled in, so basically as it fit from the factory when I received it. And, uh, you know, if I turn to the side, it's especially kind of evident. It just, it just, you know, it looks huge on me. It's like I was in a Weight Watchers plan or something. So I didn't like that. And, uh, you know, it was, honestly, I, I just was, I felt weird going out in public with it, which is not a good thing when you're, uh, try to get the, the focus here, when you're trying to wear a functional item, you know, you want to be able to wear it out. And, and uh, it's just embarrassing to do that. So let me show you now what it looks like with the drawstrings pulled. All right, so now with the, the drawstrings pulled, you can see that it's it's quite a bit better fitting overall, especially from the side. It, it looks like a vest is supposed to look. It's still, you know, baggy up in the middle because of the space for all my stuff. I kind of wish that they had another kind of drawstring system up through the middle that could be pulled on from the inside pockets or from these big, you know, zipper outside pockets or something. That would make it really great if you could kind of customize the fit. But even given that, um, just adding this one little draw cord modification has made such a huge difference, and I'm really, really happy with the product now. So hopefully that helps anybody else, and uh, yeah, enjoy your Enforcer jacket if you've got one.